it's uh, I guess it's a visceral thrilling youth film that's what I wanted it to be um, and um, it's focused on one character Candice it's her subjective uh, vision of being a teenager in a small time and all the dangers and excitement uh, that she's attracted to. Yeah, definitely. I mean, every job I've taken on has been with a view to progressing towards making a feature film, you know, learning how to make films um, in as technical and visual a way as possible and, and you know, learning learning how to be a, a visual storyteller and, and a sonic storyteller too, you know, I, I like using both aspects, and yeah. I think it's, you know, it was, it was all, it was written for the budget as well, I mean it was a small budget so um, that's not to say that I wasn't wildly ambitious in what I wanted to do with it, but at the same time, I mean, I knew I had to, you know, it's going to be something in Ireland. I'd always wanted to make an Irish youth film, um, and uh, you know, I used a lot of inspiration from growing up. A lot of, you know, from elements of our, our autobiographical, but also a lot is based on people I know and grew up around, and characters I knew know, and um, it's set in Louth, and you know, that's where my family are from. So I spent a lot of time there as a as a young person. So I, I used uh, a lot of inspiration, yeah. From that, those times. A big part of how I work is writing. You know, I, I, I've always, every project I've got involved in has involved writing. Um, and I think that's because you have to write it in order to, for it to feel like your vision, I suppose. And that's not to say I wouldn't direct someone else's amazing script, of course I would. But, uh, but I guess for me, it was just a, a way of making the film quicker, too. You know, like, uh, and uh, and yeah, I, I'd always like to be able to dip in and out of writing and direct and, you know, as well as directing scripts and so on. So yeah, uh, it, it's a big part of how I like to work. I think it's just, you know, really trying to stick to your vision as much as possible. Make sure you've given yourself enough time and make sure you've got enough money to make it, I mean, you know, and enough prep and enough time on the script, I mean, all those things are hugely important. Um, apart from that, like, I, you know, they're the things I think that are key, you just got to really prep, it's so hard and, and uh, you know, there's always going to be a certain amount of unpredictability on the set because, especially when you have a small budget, because money sort of brings you security and brings you more crew and so it's been able to adapt to the scenarios without getting too stressed as well that's a huge part of making a film and ultimately just working on your instincts and try to always like keep your instincts to the forefront so many yeah i mean like i am a huge film fan i i, I mean wong kar wai nicholas rogue uh polanski kubrick um uh, who else is there? Uh, well, yeah, there enough, I guess. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I know a lot of people have mentioned different directors' names and so on, but I genuinely have always been really into photography and I, I, I really, the, mo the thing I took most inspiration from was my own dreams and people I've met. And it's those combination of those things and the way I like to shoot things, I, I love very moody scenes, I love vivid colours and, you know, that's the kind of photographs and the kind of images I've been making since I was very young. So I just sort of like, yeah, I just went with the style that I've always liked and, and, and I try to find a story or a world that will adapt to the way I like to shoot things, I guess, yeah. Yeah, it's both, of course. I mean, it, it's really scary, but and thrilling. You've got to enjoy it. I mean, it's a challenging film and it, it you know, it's, I think it's one of those films that either, you know, it, it does offend some people, but then other people find it like completely speaks to them, you know. So it's immersive and it's quite unsettling and, and you know, it, I think it, it's great to have people see it back here. I mean, I think it, I'd like people to just go into it with knowing that it's dark, but it's also a bit of a, a wild ride and it, it's very irreverent and fun at the same time. So I think there's a lot you can get out of it if you're, yeah, if you're into that kind of thing. <laughs> I'm working on, uh, 
yeah, the, for the last six months I've been researching really hard and, and writing and really working on structure and really um, intensively a, a sci-fi film that I've always wanted to make. So yeah, that's taken up most of my time. Um, and I'm, I'm, really, I'm really keen to write a horror at some point too. I think I'm just really interested in genres where you can create like a dystopian world but also transcend the genre in some way with a message. So yeah, those, those, those genres really appeal to me, yeah. Yeah, I mean, those. Uh, if, I'm, if I dream in the future project, I've always wanted to make a, a really visceral war movie. Um, I really enjoy. Uh, I mean, I, I, I love reading about personal stories from those from different wars and events throughout the world. So, um, and I love the uh, challenge of creating those kind of epic scenes and. and uh, yeah, being able to delve into that. I, I do love shooting cho big choreographed scenes with lots of people and, and yeah, that would be a dream, I think, making something like that. I think they will come and see something which is quite visceral and thrilling, but also quite imaginative and irreverent and, um, and very immersive, yeah, so hopefully they enjoy it.